Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 18 on dictionaries. A dictionary is a set of key value pairs. These key value pairs or items can be stored in any order by Python. Dictionaries are mutable. This means that we can update any item of a dictionary. In some other programming languages, such data structures are also called associative arrays. The important thing is that in a dictionary, each key must be unique. The keys can be any immutable data type like strings or numbers. We cannot have mutable keys like lists. Now let us look at the format of a dictionary. In Python, a dictionary can be defined as a comma separated list of key value pairs within curly braces. So we have the first item which is key 0 colon value 0. It has two parts. First part is the key, then there is a colon and we have the second part which is the value. Now let us look at an example of a dictionary in Python. Now here is a dictionary. I've called this dictionary as hobby. Now this dictionary is within curly braces. This dictionary has the first item as Andrew surfing. Now here Andrew is the key and surfing is the value. Similarly we have the second item of this dictionary. In the second item of this dictionary broke is the key and gardening is the value. Similarly we have the third item of the dictionary in which Charlie is the key and games is the value. Now let us create this dictionary. Now the dictionary is created. We can echo it. And this is the dictionary as it is stored in Python. As we can see, Python can store the key value pairs in any order. So it is not in the order that we have given in the input. So here Brook is Brook gardening is first. Now let us access an item of this dictionary. So how we can do that is we give what is the hobby of Brook. So it gives us a value as gardening. Since dictionaries are mutable, we can change any item. For instance, we can change the hobby value of Andrew and assign it some other value. Now when we try to find out the value of the Andrew key, it gives us a new value. Next, let us look at dictionary options and functions. Now first, if the dictionary is D, we can give any key equal to value. This sets the item of D with the given key as the value. Next, we can get any value from the dictionary by giving D and the key within square brackets or we can give D and call the get function with the specified key. This returns the value of D with the given key. We have the in operator key in D it returns true if the key exists in the dictionary else it returns false. Similarly, we have the not in operator key not in D returns true if the key does not exist in D else it returns false. Len of D returns the number of items in D. We will 
see examples of these in python shortly next del d and with the key deletes the item of d with the given key we can call the keys function on the dictionary d and this returns all the keys of d just the keys we can get a sorted list of the keys by using the sorted function sorted of d of keys d dot values returns all values of d just the values d dot items returns all items of d including the keys and the corresponding values iter of d returns an iterator over all keys of d basically we can use the iter function to run a loop d dot copy returns a copy of the dictionary d d dot clear removes all items from the dictionary d now let us see these operations and functions in action in python now i already have a script in which i have created a dictionary and printed the python command and the output of the command so let me run it then it will be clear so the name of the dictionary is accnum this stands for account numbers so we have four items in it first item is key is abe and the value is 1000 second item key is ben and the value is 2000 and so on when we print acnum or account numbers it gives us all the items next we can change any item of the dictionary so if we give acnum of a is equal to 1999 the earlier value of 1000 is removed and the new value of 1999 is stored so now if we try to access acnum of a it gives us 1999 which is the new value we can use the in operator ben key in acnum so yes ben is there so it gives us true chris not in acnum now chris is in acnum so this gives us false acnum dot get dustin so dustin is a key it gives us the value 4000 corresponding to dustin now the len function returns how many items are there in the acnum dictionary it gives us 4 now we have used the keys function acnum dot keys it gives us just the keys chris dustin ben and abe now these are not in sorted order if we want them in sorted order we can use a sorted function sorted of acnum dot keys now this is sorted in alphabetical order abe ben chris and dustin acnum dot values gives us just the values 3000 4000 2000 and 1999 which is the current value we can also use a sorted function on acnum dot values acnum dot items this gives us the complete items including the keys and corresponding values so chris 3000 dustin 4000 ben 2000 abe 1999 now here i've used the iter function iter of acnum for k in iter of acnum colon print k so it is going to iterate over each key of acnum and just prints those keys so it has printed the keys chris dustin ben and abe del acnum dustin basically this deletes the dustin key and the key along with the value is gone now acnum has just three items for keys chris ben and abe acnum dot clear removes all items from the acnum dictionary so now acnum is an empty dictionary so that is all for dictionaries thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial